Mitiana Municipality Member of Parliament Francis Zake turned up at Parliament ready to make a point. Zake was a man on a mission to expose the leadership of Parliament which he accuses of disrespecting court orders. Upon entering the Parliament building, Zake went straight to the office. He was allocated as a Commissioner of Parliament, but it was locked. Honorable, are you opening your office? You need to open it because no access. It is uh, very disturbing that this office, up to now, it is still locked. My keys do not work here. The locks were changed. And you know in the manner in which they came and attacked my home. They condemn the leadership for acting outside their scope of power. The country is run on the basis of laws, the constitution of Uganda, and not on the whim of a parliamentary speaker who thinks that she's above the law. We refuse to, to pray by her whims. We refuse the dictatorship of the honorable speaker, and we insist that she opens this office. We are giving her an ultimatum of one week. The lawyer's demand for reinstatement with all the parks is premised on the victory Zake secured in September when the Constitutional Court ruled that Zake was wrongfully removed from the commission job. The ruling was premised on the lack of quorum and that the Speaker acted in conflict of interest by failing to resolve the question of our interest in the matter as required by the Code of Conduct for MPs in the rules. However, Chris Obore, Parliament's Director of Communication and Public Affairs, says Zake's demands have been overtaken by events. The Attorney General informed us, Parliament, that he had appealed the ruling. And since he informed us, he has not given Parliament further guidance on what to do. And I, according to him, to Parliament, he had appealed and got in lawyers, is it what, a stay of execution. A letter dated March 3, 2023, shows Parliament allocated Zake an office at Queen Chambers building along Parliamentary Avenue. Zake is still a bona fide member of Parliament, deserving of an office. The clerk to Parliament went ahead and temporarily allocated him office space where other members are given offices. For now, all that Zake can pray for is a quick Supreme Court decision on the appeal by the Attorney General. This as he faces two more inquiries by the Rules, Discipline and Privileges Committee of Parliament, all of which are in relation to conduct deemed unworthy of a member of Parliament. One of the cases pertains to the allegations that he defamed the Rakai woman member of parliament, Juliet Kinyamatama, at a rally in her constituency in early October. Jackson Onyango, NTV Parliament.